Hey everyone, it's Dave here and today we'll be talking about Now The Lost Eye. I'm scouring for like, you know, interesting titles to try out and this one was recommended for me from the F Reality podcast. I feel like purely because my biggest playthrough of the channel is Journey of the Gods, which now resembles that, if not even more, because of the additional mechanics of physics and much more complex gameplay. Also, side note, don't watch my Journey of the Gods playthrough. <laughs> it's so rough because it was my first one of the channel and that was still the time when I was editing everything on my phone, so you can like barely hear hear what I'm saying when the gameplay is okay I guess but to me it doesn't live up to the standards of my current content that I'm running on the channel so I'm glad it's big but it's a little bit of misrepresentation of my videos nowadays. So now is an adventure action fantasy title where you explore the world of now. Essentially the game starts with some concept of the storyline but because this game is still an early access I feel like the developers currently focus more into building a solid combat system and just overall physics based experience that I can't really this game on the story or the sense of it. Like I said, it seems Journey of the Gods 2.0, but it's from a ground up combat mechanics that kinda how vertical resembles, minus the portal gun, I guess. There's some melee weapons, ranged, magic, you can even fight by throwing objects from the environment. Because it is developed from the ground up as a VR title, its mechanics just feel natural. Graphics wise, I really enjoy it. It's very climatic to the fantasy world you're spending your time in, with a variety of enemies and ways to destroy them. Some design wise, it's fine as well. There were some moments that were just peace and quiet for kinda no reason I would say. But when the combat starts or you're entering a new area, it feels like magical. When I was playing it, it actually seemed like beta version already. I would say the world was pretty big so you would walk around and take in the landscapes. There's a reason why Journey is still like one of my favorite games on Quest since it's the perfect adventure journey that I want to take in and I would love to share it with other titles more complex than that. Because journey at times would be just too simple. Not at the time when I was playing it, because I was still a VR noob, but with more virtual reality experience, you can search for better and better things to more immerse yourself into the experiences. For me now has great potential. I would love its development to be for both PC VR and Quest or maybe like App Lab, who knows. It's just that currently we have so many ways to be in touch with Quest community and just cooperate, because let's be real, that's where the money is, that's where the popularity is. And with all Zenith and Song in the smoke announcements, we're getting more and more adventure games as we should. My motto is less horror, more fun. <laughs> I'm gonna be keeping an eye on this project, look for like the full premise of the gameplay. To me it's promising and that's mostly because I'm an expert in adventure genre and I know on what aspects developers should focus, but from the early access that I've played, it looks captivating enough to get more of my interest. Let's go with the footage. Hopefully it's gonna work normally with virtual desktop, so we're gonna do smooth turn of course, smooth movement, yeah, let's go. This is still in every access, so I'm expecting to have bugs and stuff like that, but you know, the first time I saw this game, it immediately brought me back to the journey of the gods, you know. I have such huge nostalgia with that series, because A, it was like my first kind of playthrough of any game VR related. I would love to play more that exact style of game, so we'll see. This seems like it was gonna be a very much the same style, but like with upgraded things from the trailer and just like the screenshot. So this is early access, so of course, latest updates. Yeah, I just wanna see what's about. Inventory, grab, trigger, standard controls. So we're putting the ball in the menu system, okay? And then we're putting small balls in the slots. <laughs> Cute. I'm pretty much gonna be like, you know, looking for the mechanics and just kinda how the game presents itself. Cause visually even from the menu it looks impressive. I just wanna see the vibes and just how is the overall Long feeling. Ago, an ancient civilization lived on a planet that developed deep in the universe. Every year, this civilization would bless meteorites coming from various parts of the galaxy. They would perform rituals on them and use their different energies for the dawn of their civilization, as these stones contained many mysteries of the universe. One day, one of these mysterious stones unexpectedly began to spread a mysterious disease. Relatable. It spread to everyone <laughs> day by day, and all of those caught petrified and died in their places seems familiar Only three mysterious people of the same lineage remained from these difficult times according to legend 
they made an equally mysterious deal with a dark force. They were going all over the universe with the portals they had opened, causing fear. The only thing said about them was that they would not stop until they had collected all the energy stones in the universe. It seems like the Avengers <laughs> storyline. Is this us? What do you do? Do I like reach out or something? A portal. Huh. <laughs> it's starting very similar to Journey of the Gods, you know, these mysterious forces. Okay, but just please don't touch me, okay? I said something. <laughs> Are you stealing? God damn, everyone is stealing recently from me. The hell? <laughs> I mean, at least we were alive, maybe that was the point. <laughs> what to do? What to do now? Oh, yeah, we're... Ah, oh, we're sucked into the portal. <laughs> well, interesting introduction, I assume. It's interesting we were watching the storyline from the third perspective. Like that's what I want to see, the cutscenes in VR, not flat, okay? <laughs> this is gorgeous. For adventure style of game. And we are here. Why it's so quiet? Give me audio options. Uh, I can press even the menu. It's interesting that we can slide you know, those things, but not really like, you know, press, I mean... Okay, so we, I make a fist and then it presses. <laughs> Weird direction. <laughs> Everything's the max, okay. It seems like I'm like fisting the menu button, okay? It's not that. <laughs> Reach for the object and press grab key. I mean, just take it, okay? How do I confirm to drop something? Oh, here we go. Ah, it works like that. You have to grab the button and then push it. A little bit weird. I would prefer to just press it normally. Especially that this menu seems to be like the same. You have to like press it, not like let go. Advice for the developer. You can grab objects from the distance. Press trigger first. When you direct your hand to object, then you will see yellow indicator. Huh? Okay. Combination of the buttons to take something? I mean, it seems unnecessary, but it's very like precision. At least you don't grab something that you don't want to. I'm gonna split on that. You will need the sphere to open the door. Yeah, I got it. I really want to let go and then something to activate, not like press it again. Huh? Oh, wait, who are you, cutie? Hey! There is no automatic save point in the game. You need to save the game manually. Okay, this device helps you to save the game progress. That was very dramatic, but okay. <laughs> Hello. Wait, you're alive? Wait, 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 what the hell? <laughs> Can I help you? <laughs> Yellow veins on your hand represents life energy. Okay. Blue bubble shaped plants below are flowers of life. You can regain your lost life. I had full life anyways, but good to know. <laughs> Hot damn, look at yeah, it. We're like in a fantasy land here. It's gorgeous. I mean, it's not like, you know, those realistic high-end graphics, but this is definitely, I would call it adventure graphics because there's certain style that kind of cares over. What? Who are you? <laughs> Wait, the hell? Why are you throwing stuff at me? <gasps> Get out. No, rude. Stop it. Wait, <laughs> why can I move it? Okay, I'm taking you then. Stop it. <laughs> no, rude. <laughs> I can slap you. Oh, wait, I kid you. Oh, well, goodbye. <laughs> That's your funeral. <laughs> I don't want it that. So, are my hands a weapon as well? I mean, it seems like it. I slapped someone to death. When you touch objects, they can directly go to inventory, like blue stones and ammo. Wait, so I'm gonna grab it. Okay, certain things. And I have immediately in the inventory. Okay, crossing the bridge somewhere. That slapping was... Wait, am I gonna have a repeat? No. Oh, I can deflect your projectiles, sir. No. Are we playing volleyball? Yeah, surf. Ugh. Not to my face. Ugh. Ugh, bitch, how dare you? 
<laughs> it's hilarious. You're just sleeping. You're not dead. Oh, where are we now? Some sort of a laboratory. If you load enough energy cubes into the chamber of your desired weapon, the machine will manufacture it. Oh, okay. So we have some rod, bow, I guess boomerang, crossbow, I don't know, cannon and something. I want a bow. I mean, I'm an archer myself, so I found only like 16. So let's just take the first thing that we have here. Let's just... Oh, here we go. Produce. Wow. All weapons created by the weapon creator have health status and you can lose weapons and you use them. Oh, blue line surrounding the weapon indicates the health status. You mean here? Great, but what does it do? I guess this is just a durability system. Mm. Ah, wait, I can collect it like that? Now it's kind of the question, what is destructible? I'm kind of confused where to go though. I mean, I know I should go there, but there's a gate or maybe it's destructible. Let's see. You're still dead? Just go to space. <laughs> Hello? You were alive just seconds ago. I can destroy it. Okay, nice. So we can go. Hey, come back here. No, no. <laughs> what? Coffins? Ah, uh, yeah. We can play baseball now that I have a rod. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, well, get out. Oh, just bye. <laughs> what about those birds? This is the second time that I'm... Oh wait, I can free you. <laughs> I'll do that the same with the other one. Off you go, dude. I don't know what that does, but at least you're free. So far I love it, like I'm getting definitely the Journey of the Gods vibes. Like upgraded ones because we have like, you know, some crafting, some like physics. Because Journey was pretty much just linear in the mechanics. Here I'm kind of getting like a full VR experience, you know, climbing. Okay, lovely. <laughs> Works. Uh, what's this? Hello. Oh, so cute. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, shit. Okay, well, you're easy. We're just rocks. Uh, wait. You are alive now? I thought you were just stick man. He's dead. You should be too. Oh, shit, my ass off. Not that. That's mean. Shit, you're durable. You're still gonna walk? What? Please die. Already? Yeah, I have to make sure you're dead. <laughs> just go. Can you not? Oh, switching the levels. Hello. Safe point. <laughs> so dramatic. Uh, go back to the dead. You too. Just bye. Excuse me. <laughs> no jump scares. This is not the game for jump scares. <laughs> Dude. Come on, what? <laughs> oh, we have two ways now. Out of my way. I guess we have to activate the bridge. I think we need something. <laughs> Stop it with the sounds. You too. I think he should be more doable, just like those sticks. Hey, I don't have two hands for baseballs. Bye. Bye. I'm so cute though. Okay, so this seems like a puzzle to me. Or not. Oh wait, actually, we need this. So I'm pretty sure I have to just put this orb here, pretty much. Yep. Nice. Oh my god, you're cute, but you jump scared me. <gasps> yes, laboratory, get out of my way. <laughs> it's so ominous. I feel like the music should be playing or something. No, not system music. What is this? Doors do not open unless they receive energy from energy dimensions. You can load the required energy into the keys first in the generator. Uh, where's the energy though? What's this? Oh, how convenient is that? I guess this is some sort of a activation for whatever is going on like in the area maybe. Oh shit, this is seems more powerful. <laughs> no. Oh shit. <laughs> Why you're spinning? No. Oh <laughs> no. Oh Okay, that was more challenging. <laughs> Hello there, do I disturb you? No. Stay down. I wonder about this durability. This weapon seems to be pretty much untouchable. Maybe the durability is broken in the early access or like it's very minimal. Oh, I fucking hell, bitch! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> the game. How dare you do that to me? 
fuck's sake. One of the worst jump scares I had. I did not expect it at all, especially because this is an adventure game, so it should be all fairy tale and stuff like that. Calm down. I don't have time for you. I don't trust coffins now. Ah oh, shit, I need a stone. I'm not gonna do it on now, I think. I want that really badly to play with a bow, but it's gonna have to suffice for now. I love this. Like, this is definitely something very much my vibes. And it's not like this game, like, feels early access because the mechanics are there. The storyline is like something's going on, you know? So it definitely doesn't really seem like really early to me. I would say it's like a beta inventory system going on, some upgrades, just adventure stuff, you know? It's like compelling to do a playthrough on it, but I feel like I should just wait for the really, really full release of it and just like follow the development of it. But overall, I feel like the graphics and just the mechanics in general, I'm the most impressed with. I'm kind of like thinking about now in my head what should like, you know, be upgraded or like be better. Maybe sound design? Not much going on, but like, I'm just cherry picking basically, because to me this project seems to be like kind of realized. It's pretty much just polishing the bugs and stuff like that. So cool. I'm definitely looking forward to the full release of it or just updates. We'll see how it's gonna go.